Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Brigitte and today I will show you how to make an herbarium press. I start by removing the pin and cord of the two old poster that I will use to make my press. Then I dye two board with water and food coloring. I brush them with water, then I add the food coloring while continuing to add water so I don't leave brush trace when I add my color. Cheap board absorb water like a sponge, therefore the sealant would normally be put before the color, but not with this water dye technique. Dye you would with food coloring, it's a good ecological way. Here I draw the shape of my board before cutting. I cut sheet from the brown paper bag. Then cut the same shape out of the old corrugated box. You will need about a dozen sheet of each. It's time to decorate our press. I use a stencil here, but you can, or of course, draw your model by hand. I'm going to paint my model with food coloring. After dyeing the boards, I could have applied a sealant and painted with acrylic, but for this project, I decided to use food coloring, so there's no need for a sealant. It saves a step. After you have colored your project, you can put a layer of acrylic varnish. But I decide to leave my board as is. It's time to assemble the press. We start by putting the flower.
put a sheet of brown paper followed by a sheet of cardboard. We add a sheet of brown paper, then another flower, followed by a sheet of brown paper, then a cardboard, and we continue until the limit of the press. advise you to wait two weeks before opening the press. What I like about this project is that I don't need drills or screws. All I need is one bed to close my press. If you like this video, click like share it with your friend and subscribe to my channel to not miss my next video. Thank you!